The Concerned Africans Forum recently wrote an open letter to the United Nations and the U.S. Congress expressing its concern over the ongoing Syrian conflict and rejecting possible U.S. military strikes on the war-torn country. The forum is made up of prominent Africans, including former South African Deputy Foreign Minister Aziz Bahad. The war has gone on for two and a half years practically. Massive destruction, sectarian hatred has now become the order of the day. Too many people have died. We believe that you must now continue on the path to find an inclusive political solution. And we are opposed to the abuse of the United Nations and international law by the major powers. There has been a very dangerous tendency by major powers now not to seek solutions by political means, but using military means. The forum says it will work hard to mobilize African opinion against the tendencies of major world powers, such as the United States, to use force to solve political problems. Our message is reflective of the public opinion in America. It was quite clear that uh, the Obama administration was going to lose the vote in the Senate and in Congress. The British Parliament historically voted against Cameron's going to war. Uh, the, the European public opinion is opposed to war. So we are saying stop creating pretexts to invade countries and use your military force and start re-looking at American role, America's role in the new world order. The Concerned Africans Forum says the people of Syria deserve to have the same benefits of peace, democracy, national reconciliation and development as the people of South Africa and believes that President Bashar al-Assad has to be part of a political solution in Syria. The same way some apartheid leaders were part of a negotiated political settlement in South Africa. It's quite clear to the Concerned Africans that he has the support of many people in Syria. Otherwise, this war could not have continued for so long. He is fighting against forces that are supported by the major Western powers and important regional powers. He, and so he, his decision not to allow the pretext of the chemical uh, weapons to allow for a massive military strike against Syria is a good decision. And he must use this process to now, in his people's interest, and in the interest of the world to move towards an inclusive political solution. Renee Dalcom, CCTV, Johannesburg.